Hey buddy, the bus is nearly here and soon we'll be on our way into the kingdom. I know, I can't wait to leave this evil place for good, although I'm desperate for so many people who I love here in this place to also join us on the bus going to the kingdom. It makes me really sad that they might not make it in time and be with us. People don't realize that the window of time is very short before the bus comes. They're so preoccupied with other stuff that really doesn't matter in the long run that they are very likely to miss it. Why is this place so evil, Triss? There must be one thing that stands out to you about this place that in spite of beauty, love and compassion, human evil is still bearing its ugly fruit. Unknown to most people, there is one main reason either directly or indirectly, for all this suffering, pain, disease, torment, misery and confusion in our lowly and sin-sick world. If people really grasped it, it would change everything for the much better. But the sad fact is, most people are completely oblivious to this, and will remain so because they are perpetually committing it themselves until they realize. Only a spiritually awakened person can grasp this profound truth and then use it within their own lives to maximum effect. I'm intrigued with what you are saying. Go on, please. It's very simple. All evil and problems in the world can be traced back to one sin in particular. It is not the unforgivable sin, but it certainly is the original one, that is, the lack of fear of the Lord. There is a reason why the book of Proverbs tells us the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. When you grasp the fact that the Lord is watching every thought, word and action in your life, and that he will judge you for it, you can be assured that your life will start to change towards striving for perfection, and the forsaking of evil. There is a healthy fear that is never talked about on earth, because this hidden knowledge is too powerful for evil spirits to allow those in the darkness of their bondage to find out. Wow, okay. But fear has always been something that people have told me is a bad thing though. There is only one good fear, and that is the fear of hurting or insulting the Lord by committing evil. Yes, we are continually tempted by evil spirits because of the knowledge of good and evil, the curse that came down through Adam. But now the Lord Jesus has come to suffer on our behalf. We have been empowered by his spirit to actively choose to do good and to forsake evil. The very action of forsaking evil is to fear the Lord because the Lord inspires us to choose to do good and therefore we do his will by fearing to do evil in his sight. So I'm guessing you are saying that a lack of fear of the Lord is the root of all evil, and therefore suffering. The lack of fear of the Lord is rooted in human pride and arrogance. When we ignore his holiness, we essentially say my kingdom come, not thy kingdom come. The result of this is sin, and the wages of sin is death, in all its forms. All suffering in the world is linked to people not fearing the Lord. It is the cause of all hate, war, unforgiveness, bitterness, jealousy, murder, rape, and everything else people usually consider evil. Indirectly, it is the cause of all disease or genetic health issues, because Adam's first sin brought death into the world. Earth cries out in its own suffering at the hands of mankind. Yes, I guess when you think about it, if everyone really feared the Lord and were literally afraid to commit evil for fear of eternal impending punishment that comes upon all those who forsake Jesus and refuse to do things his way, there would be no crime, no war, no fighting in the families, no sexual immorality, and people would try hard to bless each other in many different ways that they think would actually please the Lord. It's a really amazing revelation. Thanks. It would certainly change the world for the better if people took it to heart. Yes, exactly. I believe it deeply frustrates God that even after Jesus endured the cross and played out exactly what we all deserve for our own evil, that we still continue to be selfish and arrogant and want to do things our own way. There's another proverb, that the way of a man seems right to him, but the end thereof is death. How true this is, when you consider that without fearing the Lord you simply cannot even do good on your own volition. People are unaware that it is the Lord himself who inspires them to do good deeds, yet they want to take credit for it, and even plan to boast about their good deeds before him on judgment day. What a terrible day that will be for them. 
Oh wow, I can't think about that right now. It's terrifying. That is good that you recognize that, because the Bible is very clear that it will be both a great and a terrible day. Only those who really know Jesus will be saved, because essentially they feared the Lord. It is written that a wise man thinks a lot about death, but it is usual for the world to glibly try to persuade us to not fear death at all. From our point of view as believers, only those who know Jesus have cause to rejoice in the face of death. Everyone else who does not fear the Lord definitely should fear it, because it is the beginning of their eternal damnation. Jesus said that it is wisdom to fear him who can destroy both body and soul in hell. We must take this truth of God's frightening power to heart if we want to reach out to those in darkness, and that is why the work ahead of us is tiring and hard. It is a strange fact that people love darkness more than light, but those who know the light must strive to do the work of the Holy Spirit so that the maximum amount of souls can find salvation and fear the Lord throughout their lives. Yes, there is much work to do. I'm now unsure if I really want this bus to come right now, or not. On the one hand, I'm tired of waiting, yet on the other hand I want all the ones I love to get on it with us, and they are simply just not ready yet. Jesus is in the driving seat, my friend. Let's just trust him totally and work moment by moment according to his spirit's inspiration. That way, we can be effective for the kingdom so that many more people can come with us. David, let's be vigilant. I hope the bus comes as soon as possible, but I am also thankful for the Lord's staying mercy. His will be done. Yes. Amen.